what is up you guys welcome back to my channel it's that time of the year where you finally wrap up all your music activities for the year this video is going to be sectioned into three parts and for the first part i'm going to be talking about my top albums of 2022 let me know what yours were in the comment section down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video please do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe share comment and without further ado let's get right into today's video I delved right into this album without no expectations and let me tell you my expectations were blown off the roof. This album has hints of intimacy, love, sadness, joy, every emotion under the book. I enjoyed all tracks on this album and the standout tracks on this album for me were Learn Fair, Feels de Jou, Sante. It's a French album, so if you are going to listen to it, I indulge you to use Google Translate. Victoni proved to us in this EP that he is not just a one-hit wonder and he is not just a victim of circumstance. This EP was able to move me, was able to make me go into my feelings and was able to make me think about my life. I enjoyed this EP and this is why it is on my list of top albums of 2022. Anita was able to bring the title of the album to life, showing different facets of her. Anita showed us the sensual side, the sultry side, the playful side, the emotional side on this album. And I love this album. Even though people think it's a subpar album, I think this album is up to its title. I don't think I have much else to say on this album. Everything I want to say has been said in the album review. All I want to say is that Stormzy showed us a churchier version of himself and a very vulnerable version of himself. I love, love, love this album. Although I'm not thoroughly impressed with this album, it still made its way into my top albums of 2022. Omale has growing grace. I'm going to give him that. He has growing grace because this album was able to grow on me. Most of the songs on the album I don't really like, but for a few, I think that the album definitely has grown on me. Flo is well on their way to deserved stardom. I don't have much to say on this album again because I have reacted to it and I have also talked about them extensively. I just feel like they are going to be big come next year. I'm sorry, is your playlist even complete without Burner Boy in it? Love That Mini came as a surprise to me because I wasn't really expecting Burner Boy to put out an album again. But this album actually eats the icing on the cake. I really love this album. It was, you know, diverse and we got to see again another sad boy era in terms of an album. Like I said in my review of this album, Rema has matured in terms of styles of music. I feel like this album, he was able to experiment on different styles, different flows and also versatility. And this is why it is my top three for this year. Kendrick definitely gave us his diary entries because boy this was an album when i finished this album i was in tears and kendrick definitely opened the portal for sad boy era this year and i really love um mr Moreau and the big steppers it's such a vulnerable album and it actually teaches and lets you in into his life and king abel is definitely taking this home if your album can sustain me from january to december i am sorry that album is phenomenal i don't care what anybody says about this album this album is phenomenal every time i listen to this album it's all the way through all 12 songs no skips like i'm so sorry abel is taking this home Dawn FM is my top album of the year. It has been on my playlist all year long. 
i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up let me know once again what your, your top albums of 2022 were and um stay tuned for the part two i will see you on the next one happy holidays